everyone, welcome back to 25 CPs. Today for you, I have a nail art tutorial and kind of an introduction to some new products that were sent to me. So What's Up Nails recently sent over some nail art brushes and they actually sent over two different sets, but today we're gonna be taking a look at their What's Up Nails set. It's the one that has pink candles and I have three of them that I'm gonna show you here. They're all really good kind of detailing brushes. So that is kind of what we're going over. As you guys can see, they have a lid that comes off and the brush is rather short, but then you put the lid on the end and it makes it your standard size brush, which I really do like. And I think is really kind of handy. It also has a really nice weight to it, which I don't know about you guys, but I do really like a brush with a good weight, just like I like pins. So I really liked that aspect of them. And overall, they just have a very good feeling to them. They're sturdy. They are $9.75 each, which is a little bit less than the Orly brushes that I usually use and love and have been recommending to you. And I do feel like these are on the same level. I actually really, really enjoyed these. And we're gonna be using at least one of them today in the video. And I ended up using only one for like the whole nail art design. So I'm kind of excited about that. I love one, like having one brush that is easy to use. So here you can easily see the brush tip and the size there on the handle. So the top one is 20 dance, then middle we have 24 dance, and the bottom one is 21 dance. For the video, we're gonna be using the middle one, which I believe was 21, and then we're gonna be using acrylic paint. So here are the shades of acrylic paint that I'm using. I am going to possibly kind of mix the shades down with some white, add some water to make them a little bit easier to work with, because today we're doing a Moroccan tile inspired nail. So I thought it'd be kind of fun to break this down before we actually get to the nail art because this is a bit more of a complicated design, I would say. It's definitely one that you need a little bit of patience for. So I kind of planned it out on Procreate first, which is what I thought would be kind of fun to show you here. So we're gonna pretend that this rectangle here is your nail and we're gonna start doodling on it. So I'm gonna start with kind of like a corally color at the bottom, maybe put like little three kind of looks like the side of a flower but it's not <laughs> and then I'm gonna go ahead and put some little again I'm not really sure how you would describe this design it's just kind of go with the flow it actually reminds me of my shower curtain and a Moroccan tile like it's kind of just fun and out there and you can kind of make it up as you go I picked about what was that four colors I would say and kept within that four color color scheme which made it really nice and easy to do and it was also really fun to do on Procreate. And as you guys are gonna see probably some shape or way or form, you're also gonna see like a graphic that I made where I actually make, made this into an illustrated tile, which I thought was pretty fun. And I had a lot of fun also doing it on Procreate. So if you also use Procreate, which of course you don't have to, but if you do, I was using the Tinderbox brush, I believe it was. And I think that's the only brush that I used for this little sketch here. And then I just created my own colors. But yeah, that's how I kind of planned out this whole design. I feel like whenever you're doing a bit more complicated nails, you either have to go in with absolutely no ideas and no expectations and kind of just go with the flow. Other times, whenever you want to do a, like, a really fine detailed one, it's kind of a good idea to plan it out, be it on your iPad, on a piece of paper, something, just so you kind of have a plan when you start the nails because... There's nothing worse than starting it and then hating it and trying to start your nails over. So that's why we did that little aspect there. So now you're going to actually see me going on to my nails. And because I was doing this on camera, it is a bit trickier, I would say, for me to center things. So as you guys are going to see, I kind of did like go off camera and fix this a little bit because I didn't feel like that little spot was super centered. But also, you know, I kind of just went with it because at this point, you know, once you add all of the details, it's not gonna be super obvious. So what I'm doing here is I am using that kind of corally shade and I am adding the bottom details, which you guys saw in the little graphic I shared earlier. And this part is really easy. I added a little bit of water to my acrylic paint too to make it a little bit easier to work with, which I do highly suggest if your acrylic paint is a little thicker definitely add some water it will make it easier to work with and I it's just really helpful in my opinion so we're gonna let that dry and I just want to say like the brush 
on this one. It's like the perfect stiffness. It's like stiff, but not too stiff. And it will just follow the actions that you actually have, like if you're intended for it. Sometimes you'll have like a long brush and it'll kind of just have a mind of its own. But I feel like this one really does what you're trying to do with it, if that makes any sense. And it might not to people that aren't super familiar with using nail art brushes or just paint brushes in general. There are some that are better than others. And while they don't have magic powers, sometimes they really can make or break your art design, I feel like. I mean, you can always paint with anything, but I do feel like there are brushes that will help you and give you the best results. And I do feel like this What's Up Nails one is a really, really good. So after the pink was corally shade was dry, I went in and put some orange because on this bottom layer where we're kind of tracing the design that we already did but leaving a gap, we're actually going to have about three colors there. So you want to kind of do this as you go so you can go let it dry and do something else, which is what I am doing here with the orange. And I think the orange, I'm pretty sure that I kept it like its normal color. I don't think I changed it from the acrylic paint bottle, besides adding a little bit of water, making it easier to work with. Then the next part was the most intimidating part in my personal opinion, because we're drawing curves. And it's also supposed to be kind of symmetric, which kind of freaks me out when it comes to art. I'm not good with symmetry and freehanding symmetry, a little symmetry tool. Digitally is always something nice, but with nails, of course, you're kind of, you're kind of winging it. But I do kind of like how it came out. And like I said, I think that is really a major factor because of the brush. I feel like the brush, it was like just actually following the motions of my hand and going where I wanted to go, which was super nice. As you guys can see, that didn't take too much effort either to get that line. I didn't have to go in and like fix it a ton, which again, I feel like that was the brush. So, so far, really liking these What's Up Nails brushes. And... <laughs> Yeah, just a big fan and I can't wait. It's actually making me want to do more detailed nail art. And I have not done majorly detailed nail art in a, quite some time. I've just found it to be a bit of a hassle. But after this design, I'm really into it. It was a lot of fun. Now I'm going in with some white detailing on that bottom layer that we were talking about earlier about having three layers of the white. And as you guys can see, I kind of put it on the elongated corally color thing too as well. So now it kind of looks like a cutout, which you could also do like if you were doing a lacy sort of design, which would be really fun. Anyway, now we're back to the curved line parts. And this is the part where in the graphic it was colored in with orange. And so that is what I'm doing. I'm kind of making a bit of a thicker line than what we made the outline with because on the top of it, we are going to go ahead and do that kind of teal aqua e shade again to finish that up. And... Again, this brush, I am really liking it, and I feel like this is going to be one that I'm going to mention in a lot of videos from here on out, like I always do with the short detailer from Orly. It's similar in the regards that they're both short, but I feel like this one has even more control. I need to actually like get them out and compare them side by side. I think this one might be a teeny bit thicker, but also a teeny bit shorter, so I feel like maybe I can definitely, maybe I can definitely... <laughs> That's confusing. Um, I feel like I could definitely use them together and they would both give me something a little different, but I do kind of feel like I have more control over this brush, which is super important in my opinion because I'm not perfect by any means when it comes to painting lines, but this wasn't nearly as stressful. And I went ahead and did this design on all five nails on this hand, which definitely doesn't normally happen. So to finish off the design, I didn't feel like I could put in many more details at the top because we were really close to the cuticle line and I didn't want it to like majorly go off the edge. So at this point, you're most likely running out too unless you have like super long nails. So you could either continue like I did by doing some really fine little dots or you could add another layer of like scallops or something to that extent. But I do like it with the dots and for like a medium length nail, I feel like that is perfect. And apparently the CDC is actually like advising people to keep shorter nails. So maybe we all need short nail designs. <laughs> um, after all of it was dry, I definitely waited until everything was dry. I put on a matte top coat to finish it up and seal it all in. And that was the manicure. Here is a look at it on all four nails. I do have it on my thumb as well. And I absolutely loved this design. I have not done something like this in a long time. It actually like 
the reason that I did this design was because I recently was like going through my IGTV and I found one that I did a few years ago. I think it was like the same year IGTV came out, which I think was 2018. And I did a kind of like a blue and white kind of Moroccan tile, very similar to this one. And I asked you guys on stories if you wanted me to recreate it and you guys said yes. So I kind of just did something similar. So there is that, I would say quick little video, but that wasn't a super quick video. It was just more of a fun kind of do some art with me and if you do recreate it I would absolutely love to see it I do realize that this design it takes more patience and it might be a bit tedious to do it on all four nails so maybe maybe do it as an accent nail anyway I had a lot of fun doing it I feel like it's a really good pastime and kind of something fun that you can just sit down and do and try to like not think about anything else you can turn on a YouTube video or something to that extent which I feel like I really needed. So I really enjoyed this. I hope you guys did too. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see y'all back here soon for another new video. Bye.